Hi there, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and today I'm excited to show you a brand new product, the uh, Fly Away With Me die set. And also I'm going to be using a bunch of different products here, the um, Spring Meadow background stem set. And I'm going to stamp a few um, different backgrounds with this one, a few different colors, but I'm only showing the first one. This is uh, Warm Sunshine from Alt and New. And the other colors, I'm just going to link in uh, the description box below. I thought you don't need to see all the stamping. And um, as you can see, I stamp the background uh, two times to get a, a nice and bold and um, full image. And here are the colors that I um, chose for today's project. And I also chose uh, matching um, cardstock. So here's a die set. It's four butterflies, two um, bigger ones and two smaller ones. And you can layer them up. Uh, two are just... Uh, plain butterflies and um, the other ones have some design but obviously you can also use them on their own and so I'm die cutting these both from the stamped background which is now basically patterned paper and also from the color cardstock. I actually really wanted to use them like this um, on a layout but maybe another time because I was planning to make cards today. So I chose to go with um, slimline cards and I actually created three. As you can see that uh, my um, platform is uh, only eight inch uh, long or wide or you know <laughs> um, it's not big enough so I have to stamp if I want to, to do a full background, I have to stamp it twice. I have to turn around the card. So I'm uh, starting with the Argyle Pattern Builder here. And um, yeah, I, I would anyway have to stamp this twice. As you can see, it wouldn't be um, big enough. The only difference is that I'm going to have to turn around that card stock. But it's very simple to do. So... Uh, you can see it for yourself as well. And I'm using grays, a warm grays from uh, Altenew for this. And this is the third uh, layer here. And then I'm just turning around the cardstock and repeat the whole process. Um, on the other cards, I'm not going to create full backgrounds just to, um, well, for two reasons. Um, I didn't have to then um, stamp the cardstock twice, but also I could leave white space for my um, sentiment. You will see that in a second. So I wanted to create a full background with this because I really love uh, the pattern and I, I love stamping um, with layering sets like this or pattern builders. It's I find it uh, a really fun process. So the next one is the trellis background. This is an older um, stem set, but still one of my favorites. It's, um, you know, it's a very simple design and very um, effective, I think. Um, you, you really, you can um, create any kind of uh, colors and, you know, it's just always, uh, very versatile in my opinion and then there is another one this is the newer one uh, the tribal background pattern and I do love this one as well um, I'm stamping all of them in grays I'm just trying to um, you know use different like sometimes this one is a darker shade the other one was the lightest in the warm gray set just to have some variation here. And I usually stamp these, uh, I mean, especially these large background stamp sets um, at least twice, sometimes even three times, just to get a crisp image. 
and now I'm going to try to arrange my butterflies I actually thought that I could um, use all the colors on just one card but um, the butterflies were too big for that so on two cards I'm um, you know I just uh, chose three colors for each card and now I chose my sentiments also from the tribal uh, pattern background stamp set and I will stamp these with a darker shade in the set I think this might be the darkest shade but I'm not positive right now so I didn't want to mess the background up so I, I um, placed a scrap uh, paper on top and then tried it on that if it's uh, lined up properly because I'm really really bad at um, lining up sentiments and I know from experience that I mess things up so that is why I use that scrap cardstock to help me and now um, for the third card I'm going to emboss um, the sentiment as you can see I'm embossing well with white embossing powder from wow um, and I'm embossing four because I again I know from experience that some I I don't manage as you can see I already wiped off uh, one of them because it was um, I didn't stamp it well and then I am going to pick one of these and trying my very best to cut a straight strip it's not easy with that um, trimmer if I'm honest and the rest I'm just going to save for some other cards because they actually turned out okay so I'm now creating my card base and for this I'm using um, a heavyweight Nina solar white cardstock normally I don't waste this cardstock on card bases because it's so beautiful I like to use it for my card fronts and um, die cuts and stuff like that but um, you know for, for me the card base doesn't have to be this beautiful white and normally I just use a cheaper card stock but now that I actually found a supplier for this here in Europe um, I'm okay with this so it was just easier than uh, because my other white card stock is 12 by 12 and then I have to um, trim more and in this case I just really had to fold it and uh, trim it because it's the the right um, length or width <laughs> and now I just trim down the um, full panel so the argyle pattern panel that was uh, actually the full size slimline uh, card that I normally create three and a half by eight and a half inches but I trimmed it down a little to uh, have a white border around it and now I will add my butterflies and I decided to place them kind of um, how should I say off center um, so they are kind of you know tilting left and right and then I also um, made sure that once the pattern is um, leaning towards one side and then the next pattern uh, butterfly is going to the other um, direction just so that it's kind of random I mean it's supposed to be random but you know I did think it through and then I'm just gluing them down now and they will all be in one line in the center and then all I do is I will add my embossed sentiment to it I really really love working with pattern paper if you know me uh, then you know this as well um, pattern paper is my absolute favorite thing but um, yeah I, I 
I don't really have any um, right now or I didn't want to work with any so I just created my own pattern paper basically I this I really love about background stamps that you can just you know use whatever color you want and then you have that uh, same pattern in any color you like anytime you want I I really love that so uh, on the second card as you can see I also created the card bases for the uh, rest of the cards at the same time and these are also very simple I'm um, on one card on this one I'm uh, offsetting the top layer of the butterfly just so that you can see the pattern more and then I'm tilting them also um, in different directions but if you look at it you will see that the pattern paper so the bottom layer is actually lined up straight so only the top layer is um, tilting to the right and the left and in this case in the second card I'm just uh, layering them up without offsetting them just you know the standard way and then I'm just going to glue them down and then the cards are almost finished so they are actually uh, very simple designs but I love the um, colors and I love the um, mix of the patterns so yeah it was really fun to do I'm super excited about these dies. I hope you will be too. Um, they are a new product to the shop and they've been a, well, a huge dream of mine. And finally it, it happened. So yeah, I cannot be more excited. Okay, so then again, this is something I do a lot. If you've been following me I use a lot of enamel dots so uh, I did not want to add any to the card with the full uh, pattern um, background because it's already pretty busy so um, I'm just adding them to these last two cards and of course I never know when it you know when I have too many enamel dots on something I tend to use a lot but I don't know I just like the pop of color and you know all those little circles and texture I don't know there's just something so pretty about them in my opinion okay and that's about it I really hope that you like these products and are just as excited about them as me and I hope I could inspire you with these slimline cards. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.